not lie here. These paper tests can be deceiving because sometimes you can do really well and have a pretty good edge and it still cuts well, but I'll tell you, that doesn't look bad at all for a quick god darn grind, I'll tell you that. Now the big question is if you notice, I put a secondary edge on the very tip because if you look at the front of this thing, it's not a very good looking stabber. But with that secondary edge up there, and I didn't really work on that as much, so it's nowhere as near as, as sharp, but it will cut right on the very edge if I get the right position. Here, let me go, let me do, do a different way. As I was saying, this edge, you know, it's nowhere as near as aggressive as, um, as this edge. But the point is, is if I have something there, then I'm really not pushing that hard, guys. I mean, that was barely just the weight of the blade. Um, there's enough of an edge there. So what I'm thinking that if we were to decide to do some type of stabbing test, having both edge, edges cut kind of like a dagger, uh, it'll avoid having that point. But we're definitely a front heavy knife. Um, so we should be able to do some chopping. Stuff like that. So let me go ahead and, and devise a bit of a test. There we go, that's the first one. Right there, not bad. And I was chopping right in this location. I mean, I didn't chop a whole block of wood, but I chopped something. Alright, let me uh, devise a test and we'll come back and just see what this thing does. Alright, let's see about chopping through. This is only like a 1 by 3 I'm not going to mess around with... Uh, with uh, anything bigger, but let's see what we can. because I don't want to hit my hand with the blade. There you go. Not bad at all, not bad. Alright, let's do some batoning. Now, I know this is an oak or something, but it's all I got right now. So let's just go see what we get. We'll come back here. got oak but we got knot right there you see that if you don't think I'm not getting that blade you're crazy right there freaking knot can you believe that unbelievable one more just for shits and grins in the end hopefully you won't hit a knot oh yeah we hit a knot I can't put on the end because it's sharpened. That yeah, hurts my hand too much. Spin it around, we'll come from the other side. Right through. Alright, so there's some pretty heavy aggression. Let me grab a piece of paper. Actually, I'm going to leave it right here so you don't think that I cheated. Quite honestly, I can't even imagine it's going to be sharp, but what do I know? Holy crap. And pretty much everywhere on the blade. I've been down back here, I've been down in the middle. That one ripped a little. Still pretty damn sharp right there. And on the edge. I hit this edge a couple of times. Ah, hell. Hell yeah. All right, let me just come up with something else. All right, I don't know how many times I've seen this one on this show, but, you know, it doesn't seem crazy to me, but we're going to go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, it's the only bag of sand I can make, so I'm going to stab here and get a, a, a puncture and then I'll come up and I'll rip this bottom open. We'll see, we'll see what it does. The, the set, I, I think they think scrape it. Oh! <laughs> Shit! I don't know what the hell that test is supposed to do, but I guess this knife's sharp. Here, let's try this. Since we're in the game. Let's see what happens. Ready? Hope I don't lose it. Let's do it this way. There you go. I don't know what that means. <laughs> these guys do these things on TV. Holy crap. 
This is actually turned out to be a little bit fun, I think. So I'm almost out of paper here, but let's see what we can do. It was after whatever I did out there. I don't know what you'd call that, but I mean, shit. That ain't as sharp as she used to be, but she's pretty damn sharp still. Holy crap. That's pretty amazing. Water quench. Matt from, uh, from uh, Finger Lakes Forge. I think water quench is the way to go. Just be careful of your edge. Try a piece of mild steel right on the. Oh, I can't hit the tip because it's sharpened, so I gotta get it so I get a good hit there. Not bad at all. Oh, I was hitting right where I chipped it from the last time I was testing. Can I hit it here? And there you have it. Broke that right off. That's good. A lot of work just to throw away, but. Again, I hit that tip where I left. If you remember, go back to my tempering colors. I did not have that tip tempered. I wanted that sharp for stabbing. So, But we got a halfway decent cut out of that steel. All right, well, since we wrecked this blade, wow, you can actually see, kind of see a little variation of hardening going on there, which is cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try a little spring test on this. And since this was... For a second there, I didn't think this was going to turn out to be a destructive test, but we'll just see what kind of spring we get. I don't know, is that good? I think that's freaking good. I mean, Jesus. I don't know what I'm moving, but I'm moving, I don't know, five degrees anyway. And I'm pulling on the sucker, so that's good. All right, we're going to call this video done. <laughs> God, if I hadn't done that last time. Oh, shoot. Well, I'll tell you, if I hadn't done that last test, I still have a heck of a knife here. But the last test, again, I was hitting, and I and the steel was back here, and I hit off the end, and it snapped that end off. But again, I'm okay with that. That's it. You know, you saw me batoning through that wood, and I was hitting on this end. I was hitting really, really hard, and um, it's, I'm very, very happy with how that performed. So, uh, very interesting, <laughs> destructive test. Remember, if you go back to the beginning, and I'm going to leave this video long, and you guys have watched the whole freaking thing. Um, hour and 20 minutes it took me to, to get from uh, Ferrier Rasp to here, which uh, I think is pretty impressive. I think that's not bad at all. I mean, it wasn't a work of art, but it certainly held up to a lot of the tests that you see these guys do, that's for sure. I, I'm very surprised about the the amount of bend that this thing allowed. I, I'm very, very happy with my variable tempering. I'm happy with the hardening of these particular files. So when I have hellers, which I do have some actually, um, they're gonna be water quenched for sure. The other ones are oil quenched. Um, the edge retention uh, was his big issue and you saw after all that chopping and hacking and, and I was using every part of the blade, I was still able to cut paper. Not as well as at the beginning, but per, I mean, better than some knives I made, I'll tell you that. So anyway, um, that's where we're going to stop. I'm interested to see what you guys think of this video. And uh, anybody want to buy that knife? I'll sell you the knife and the tip. I need the money. Make me an offer. Make me an offer. Email me at Chandler Store. That's two S's. Chandler's Store at MindSpring.com. Make me an offer. And uh, first offer that I think is just crazy enough to take, I'll take it. Uh, otherwise, maybe I'll shave with this one. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed. All right, I'm coming back because I was goofing around. I'm actually trying to find the tip that broke off. But uh, I picked up a piece of freaking wood just to see, you know, can I whittle the thing? It's just sharper than, than most knives I've bought and cut out of the freaking bag. Look at that thing. Unbelievable. That's what you get with a fairy ass. Heller. Heller and something. I'm leaving now for real bye.